guys, I'm Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the Young and the Restless edition. All right, today is Wednesday, December the 21st, 2022. Let's jump right into this. You guys, I'm going to have to give this a six. It wasn't that great to me. <laughs> these are Christmas episodes, and you can tell they're fillers. You can really tell that these are fillers, filler episodes, um, and so... There's nothing wrong with the filler because it does lead to better episodes, you know, that are coming. But I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to give this a six and let's just jump right into it. Don't forget, I will be going live on Friday, December the 23rd, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, 4 on the West Coast. We see Jack, Kyle, and Summer. And Kyle is determined to get back to his mama. And so Jack is going to make it happen. He said, I'm going to deal with Jeremy and y'all just sit here and, y'all, and I'll give y'all the go ahead whenever it's time. And they're like, okay. And so then Summer and Kyle begin to talk, right? Because she's like, oh gosh, I hate putting, you know, he's like, I hate putting my dad in this danger. She said, but we'll get to spend Christmas with um your mom. And then, you know, they start opening gifts. He gives her a gift from, um, Harrison and it has an H on it and and they're just trading gifts and everything and then uh, she talks about how she um, you know won't be with her family and I said girl you're the only one that's stopping you from being with your family she said but I want to stressful I said girl like listen you want to be with the Abbots and that's fine. You spend Thanksgiving with, I mean, what's the difference between you spending Thanksgiving with them and then you turn it around and spending Christmas with them. That's where you want to be, be there. Daniel and your mama will be just fine. You be where you want to be, but I'm not going to hold you long on them. Cause they're, they're honestly, they're, they're a little bit boring to me and I'm just not going to do it I, to get through these reviews. I have to talk about what I like to talk about. So then we see Jeremy and Jack Child. So Jack Jack goes over here to Jeremy because he's trying to be a distraction so that Sa- Colin, um, Summer, and Harrison can leave to go visit Diane, right? And as he's trying to be a distraction, he goes over there and and Jeremy was like, "You always telling me stay away, stay away, but you've been approaching me more than anything." And I said, "Well, it did." And Jack says, well, this will be the last time. But um, I, he comes in there with a briefcase. And I said, okay, how much money you got? He, Jay, he told Jeremy, you said Diane took um, a quarter of a million from you. I was like, that's it? That is a lot of money to start your life over again. Diane should have a little of that money left. Like, what were you doing with $250,000? Um, but anyways, so he says, I, I doubled it. So what you could do is take the money and get out of town. And so Jeremy said, "Uh -uh. uh-uh, my dealings is with Diane. He said, so after I speak to Diane and we get all this situated, then I'll get out of town and take the money, of course. But he told Jack, he said, that little doubling of money you got, that ain't what that's not money to me. I was away for what, six, six years? Was it six years? He said, um, that's, that is what you just gave me equals up to I think 7,000, 7,000 a month, 200 a day. He said, baby, I could have made more than that with that money. So no, I'm not going to take this ch- chomp change. I want to see Diane because that's who I have my dealings with. And Jack says, um, you still want to see her? I'm trying to protect her. He said, what, what kind of relationship would you got Diane, with Diane? And Jack tried to play like, oh, I, I really can't stand her. All the car trouble she has. We don't have a relationship. He said, you didn't answer the question. And I'm asking about how you feel about her now. But Jeremy don't care. He said, and so Jack tells Jeremy, we'll go. I'll, I'll lead you to Diane. I said, now he's not about to do this. This is how he's going to get called them to go. Jack, I don't think you should play with Jeremy like this. <laughs> I really don't. I, I don't understand it. I, I just don't. But let's move on, child. <laughs> I don't think you should play with Jeremy like that. But I I know LaShonta, we we about to see how J- gangster he gonna be. Cause baby, when Jeremy found out finds out that you were playing him, we gonna see. But anyways, we see. Um, okay, so y'all know Ashley had went to see Tucker and Audrey is back there in the 
bathroom and so tucker told ashley oh i was about to get in the shower she said huh because um early when i talked to you on the phone you said you was just getting out he said well i take multiple showers a day because i went to the exercise gym i said you ain't got on workout clothes but okay we'll say that he said i went to the um gym and, and worked out and, and she's he said you could wait in the room for me and she said no i don't want to be waiting drinking a scotch or something she said while you getting dressed and so he said just wait upstairs so she said okay so then when she leaves, um, Audra and Tucker talking and, and she says, I just saw how you handle Ashley. So yeah, I'm all in because, you know, it, it looks like your pay ain't going to work. I said, well, dang. So then Audra goes over to Sharon's place, right? And when she goes over to Sharon's place, she sees that, um, you know, Sharon says, I heard you talking to a barista and you were asking about Noah. So I know exactly who you are. And Sharon asked her, how long are you going to stay? Is this a permanent job? She said, is that your way of asking me? Am I staying? She said, uh, no, it never asked me to ask you, but you know, I'm just curious. And so she lets Sharon know that she's not going to stay, that she's going to stay as long as she stays. I don't know. She said, but Noah and uh, Allie have nothing to worry about. He said, made it clear in no uncertain terms. I don't want you. And I heard, she said, and I heard him when he said it. So anyways, then Chance comes in and interrupts them. And he says, Sharon, I did it. So him and Sharon start talking and Audrey is really listening. He's telling her the story about how he caught an elf, this con artist that was an elf and and all that it was a funny story though and so you know he's real happy about that but then sharon gets a call from faith so she has to go outside so then audra and uh chan start talking and i said i don't think audra is a flirt i think she's just you know have you ever had a friend who was just a flirty friend like that they, they just it they didn't even realize they were doing it because audra has flirted with every man she's talked to but i don't even think she's attempting to flirt you know but anyway sharon sees and i said oh no not we green eye with envy so she go back in the chance and they continue to talk and he says he's going to spend uh christmas alone he's because he doesn't want to answer any questions about about um abby and their whole relationship and everything and i'm not gonna lie i blacked out on them let's move on so then um we see noah and Allie. so they're all lovey dubby um well not right now they're not they're awkward <laughs> I said, what's going on here? See, Noah, you told this girl this mess, and then you, I guess you didn't finish clarifying. Um, so he says, we need to talk about everything. He said, you don't have anything to worry about. I'm I want to be yours. I'm here with you. We're in this together. I do not want Audra, which makes her feel better. And then Ashley comes in. She says she's meeting with Tucker, and they were like, but Allie said, I don't, I'm not judging. He's she's like, Yeah, he came in on that helicopter. She said, But besides that, i respect him as a businessman because he be doing it and so then noah said yeah Allie's not gonna judge and so ashley's like okay so then she goes in and noah leaves and and ashley um asks you know um ally is everything all good with you and she said yeah everything's all good with her i mean she said she thinks their relationship is good i said well then the answer is no <laughs> so then we see uh noah and Allie talk and they're all kissing and they're lovey dovey and they're just you know having a nice little conversation because you know she forgives him for whatever happened between him and um audra and at the end of the day you know they want to be together so then we see tucker comes in sorry i forgot to put up the picture so it's audra still in it and he talks to ashley and she's just complaining about jack and so as she's complaining about jack um he tells her why don't you just come over come over and um you know leave him alone she it was like you know put a little distance between he said i think you should distance yourself from nikki and phyllis as well as jack i said oh look at you isolating her getting it all worked out all right y'all that was young and restless today don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you tomorrow for an all new episode of what happened on the soaps the young and the restless edition goodbye